Hello, my name is Darren. Here's music for all. Now we can join together and just have a ball. Our next guest is Condom Lady, otherwise known as Art Girl, who also is a social worker, a sexual so social worker, that is. Here she is, Art Girl. What do you do for a living? I'm a disease investigator. Oh, okay. What kinds of diseases? Um, HIV, syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia, reportable infections. Oh, wow. So they're all sexual diseases? Basically, yes. How many people still have syphilis today? Um, believe it or not, quite a few. In a lot of major cities across the United States, there's really been a huge outbreak, almost an epidemic of syphilis. Hard to believe because nobody ever talks about it anymore. Right. Um, it's kind of like one of those hidden diseases. Like people talk about HIV a lot um, because that's an infection that's deadly, but syphilis is deadly as well. And for some reason, that doesn't get mentioned nearly as often. Interesting. So you've dealt with a lot of people who've had a, um, syphilis. Yes. You've knocked their doors and informed them and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to any health clinic or your private doctor or... Um, a hospital and you get a test for any reason and you don't go back and you don't get treatment, then somebody like me will come to your house. So that's everything you ever want to know about syphilis um, other than the, the visual um, components involved. What would a person of syphilis, what would, what, what would your genitals look like? All right, I'll show you the tools of my trade here, okay? Like, let's say that somebody comes in and I'm going to conduct a syphilis interview with them. Like, they have a lesion or a sore, or even if they don't, but their blood test positive, I'm going to sit down with them and I'm going to show them this beautiful little book. Like, I'm one of the very few people that shows people naked pictures for a living besides a pornographer, I guess. Um, if somebody has a lesion, it can be on their face, and sometimes it's on their lip, but most of the time it's on the inside of their mouth or on their tongue. Um, for a woman, a syphilis sore, and that's what one looks like, um, can be on the outside of her vagina or in the cracks and the folds of it, or it can be way up in there where she's not going to see it, really only her gynecologist will. Okay? It's interesting how much of a... Um relationship there is between the syphilitic sore and the, and the clitoris look very similar to each other? Well, no. I mean, this is an ulcerated, ulcerated, open, infectious sore, and the clitoris is like the, you know, pearl of um, pleasure for a woman, so I don't really see the, you know, you similarity think, there. <laughs> you, know? you think the sore is a form of punishment for a woman? Um, no, I don't think that these things are like a sin or a punishment for anybody. I think that, you know, these are bacteria that have been around since like the dawn of man, you know, and they just pass from one person to another, you know. That's why it's important to strap up, you know, put a rubber barrier between you and your partner if you don't know that person or haven't taken the time to get them tested. Do you think that men could please women? Sure, if they try really, really, really hard. This is what a sore looks like on a man's penis. It can be on the head of it, it can be on the shaft, it can be on the testicles, or it can be directly on his behind if he has sex with other men. Okay? Again, these sores can be up on the inside of his anus where he's not going to see it, nor will his partner. And these sores are absolutely pain-free. So that's why people don't realize that they have them, because if they don't hurt, then you, don't, you think it's okay. What if they're itchy sores? Well, if they're itchy sores, you're more likely to go to the doctor because you're uncomfortable. With this sore, this will dry up and go away, even without medicine. Will it be itchy? Mm -mm. No, it's pain-free. doesn't hurt. Well, I think that will be enough to kind of like make anyone interested in having lustful affairs with people that they don't quite know um, unappealing. So on that note, we'd like to end this discussion of syphilis with our girl and actually give her an applause.
Hey, Art Girl, do you want to do a song with me? It's called Power, Passion Paradise. Yeah, totally, as long as we can dedicate it to Swami Virato. Swami Virato. Absolutely. We want power. Passion paradise. 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 